What's up, everybody? So the other day, I got a really interesting topic suggestion from one of you guys. So my first video uh, regarding hard work and are you working hard enough, Heidi actually presented a really kind of relevant topic. And so she first left a really, really nice comment and was complimenting me and being so kind. But I want to forward to the very end of her comment where she goes, I'd love to see a video about college advice or maybe how to balance being on your phone. As soon as I read that, I was like, ding, 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 ding. And Heidi, I definitely would love to cover college advice as well, because that's something also that I've been through. Um, but when you said maybe how to balance being on your phone, I'm like, dude, everybody needs to hear this right now. Like, this is such a very important thing to discuss. And uh, she also followed up by saying, I find myself being distracted on it so much. Thanks again, Cody. Love you. Really appreciate you, Heidi. And just so you know, you are certainly not alone. That this pertains to me. This pertains to so many millions of people now, ever since the introduction of smartphones. They are so incredibly distracting. And the thing about them is, it's not really the distraction of it that's the worst thing. It's the hindrance that it causes from people being creative or following passions because I feel like it's kind of like a drug. It's like a little bit of it. Okay. It like fulfills you and it like releases endorphins, seeing the likes and everything and, and surfing through and, and, you know, trying to find new people to follow. But at the same time, you know, Instagram and social media and the news and, all of this kind of stuff. Like I even have an app on my phone called iFunny, which is literally just an app of memes that, you know, whenever I'm bored, I'll just go on there and I'll check and like, it's just hilarious. But the problem with all this stuff is you got to think of your phone like real estate, if this makes sense. So all of the applications on your phone are like real estate. It's like kind of one big neighborhood. And then every little thing is like a little house or a little business. And all of these things are pieces of real estate in your life that you have access to kind of viewing and, and these things have the potential to kind of take up your time. So it would make sense to sort of limit these things so that you don't have as many distractions. But even more so than just saying, oh, I'm going to delete these apps because I don't really need that. I don't use it a lot. It's simply the screen time. It's simply the time that you spend on the phone. And I'm going to tell you guys something very interesting that both Lexi and myself did um, very recently, about a week ago, that has already made like an impact. And we put on screen restrictions on our phone for all of the entertainment apps and apps that are kind of the ones that are notorious for taking up your time more than you would think. And if you guys haven't checked your screen time yet, I would strongly suggest going into your settings and actually looking at how much time you spent. And I know that when the last update happened on the iPhone where it was going to show you that stuff, I was like a little bit like, I was pushing it back. I was like even a little embarrassed before I even checked it because I'm like, oh, I know my numbers are going to be high. I know I spend a lot of time on there scrolling, you know, watching a bunch of YouTube and stuff like that. And I think that we're all guilty of it, but recently we were just, it had been a long time. It would, it had probably been just many months of us kind of just going through this struggle and imagine guys, I mean, we're not all, you know, social media entertainer people out there, but you can imagine as people who, you know, rely on that for their work and their job, have it a little bit even tougher because these are our tools. Like this is our tool to put content out there, to be sharing with our audience, to, to be keeping people engaged. And it's something that it's, it's like, it's kind of glued to our hand in a way. It's our, it's our job. It's our profession. It's our way that we communicate. And it's also a major source of entertainment and a major taker of time from us. So you guys have heard this time and time again, but we are simply all on our phones too much. And I only want to make these videos and have these type of discussions so that it betters people so that it's not, uh, these are not to scold or to make people do everything my way. It's simply me saying like, I truly believe that your life will actually begin to change for the better 
when you set these restrictions on your phone and let me tell you why ever since we've done it and honestly i should follow up on this very topic in like a month from now once my restrictions have been on for like a month and a half because it's been about i would say maybe two weeks or like a week and a half but i've already begun to see a change like i've already been experiencing like new little just different surges of creativity and wanting to get stuff done and I don't know, like in the past few days, I've had a list of kind of tasks to do for the day, but I've been wanting to knock them out early in the day, and which this has really no correlation to like the screen time on the phone, but it's really changing the way that I'm kind of taking care of daily tasks, and it's also changing the way I'm spending time on social media, and let me tell you why. Because I have a limited amount of time that I can be on my phone, on the social media apps, you know, in the very beginning, I would just burn through the time and I would just, you know, be on the phone and then my time would run out and then I couldn't use, you know, YouTube, Twitter, or Instagram for the rest of the day. But now, because I'm used to it and I'm kind of budgeting my time, I'm spending more time creating and posting more and knowing that, well, if I have to post this thing or if I want to post something, I need a few minutes to do that. Or if I need to do a specific caption, I need to have more time to think about what I'm going to say. So I'm delegating my time to my own creativity when I have the restrictions on because the time is limiting me and I can't go above the time. And Lexi and I actually set a passcode that only each of us know for each other's phone so that we literally cannot be on Instagram or YouTube or any of those entertainment apps or social media apps beyond the time so that it keeps us accountable. So if you guys haven't already, simply go in there and just check and see how much time you've done because for me it was kind of borderline it disgusted me because I'm I'm thinking about all that time that like I could have been using developing a new talent or becoming a better guitar player which is something I want to start doing I want to start getting better with my timing of when I'm playing guitar to like a metronome like I want to spend you know 10 15 minutes a day just doing that but this has really allowed me to not only get more things done Task-wise, I'm more creative and I'm hungrier to do more things. Because think about it. I recorded this, you know, first little video series thing about a week ago. And that was around the time when I started the phone restriction thing. Like doing this was something I never would have thought I'd have time to do because I just had so much to do in my day. I had a lot to do, but really it's not so much I had a lot to do during the day. I was simply filling my time while I'm at home with being on the phone. It's like these, these recordings take me, you know, anywhere between, you know, 20 to 30 minutes to record. And I'm getting fulfilled because I'm being creative. I'm able to help others out there who are watching this, who, you know, can help themselves be more creative or, you know, better their lives. And I wouldn't even be doing this if I hadn't set my own parameters. So imagine if everybody did this and it was like a chain effect where so many amazing things can come out of us, not just being locked in on the phone all the time, but actually limiting our time and delegating your day so that you can get more done and maybe add new, new, you know, you know, just passions to your daily life and, and new new developments, new creations, because that's what's happening to me. I'm now seeing, wait, I, I have enough time to do this, but I can also be doing this as well. And I'm going to pace myself. I'm not going to fill my day to be busy on purpose, but I just have this new surge of just like creativity and purpose now ever since I started doing that. And obviously we, we're not going to go into this today, but there's, you know, a bunch of studies and, you know, people that have talked about how being on social media and seeing other people's lives will, you know, it'll start making you feel bad and like, oh, my life isn't like that. It needs to be cooler than that. We won't get into that, but the screen time limitations will also lessen that aspect of everything as well. So you're hitting like two birds with one stone. And I think that overall, it'll just make life better in that way. So watch your creativity surge. Like, let me challenge you. Like, let me challenge you to actually try and set restrictions on your phone. I would say to start off, like look at your phone and whatever amount of time you're spending in like your most used app, try cutting it in half. But I would actually suggest cutting it into like a third. 
just so you can really feel the effect. Because if you cut it down a little bit, like sure, you won't be able to be on as long, but like if you really want to challenge yourself and feel the effect of you not being on the device for as long, chop that baby in one third or like one fourth. Like that's what we did. And I feel like if you want to see a difference, definitely challenge yourself in that way. And what I when I was thinking about talking about this and some similarities to other aspects of or, or ways that people have talked about being more creative and maximizing their time, like one of the most popular things is people saying how they get up very early in the morning. So I'm here to tell you that I am not one of those people. I am not good at getting up, getting up in the morning. And oh, I'm almost embarrassed to even say this, but like, I will sleep in like past nine, nine thirty sometimes because you guys have to remember, like I don't have a nine to five. So like as a freelance, you know, creative and musician, it's like you don't have a time that you have to clock in at work. So I simply was just waking up when I wanted to wake up, depending on what I had to do that day. If I had an early meeting, I would get up a little bit earlier. But if I had nothing going on till like noon or three o'clock, I'd roll out of bed at like 10 o'clock. And That is certainly one way to live, but I actually started making myself get up at 8 a.m., which I know a lot of you guys are going to laugh at me, and please do not tear me apart because I know several of you guys are getting up at 6 and 6.30 and possibly even earlier. But for an independent contractor like myself, getting up at 8 a.m. is a victory for me, at least for right now, and I'm going to try to work my way down. But if you are not an early riser, for example, me, The phone restriction thing is almost just as good as getting up early because you will see yourself experiencing the effect of having more time to do things during the day. Like, the days for me are seeming a little bit longer now since I put the restrictions on. Like, I just simply have more time. It's as if I was getting up at like 7 a.m. and I was able to get so much done and accomplish so much. Because think about it, if you did get up at 7 a.m. or 6.30, but you didn't limit your screen time and you were on your phone as long as like the average American is on their phone, like essentially we would probably, you and I, we would probably have the same amount of time during the day to do creative stuff or to get work done because you're likely on your phone for five, six, seven hours a day. Like this is a legitimate statistic. Like look at your phone right now. Like we are on our phones for way longer than, than you think. Um, so this all comes back to the point of why I like to share this kind of stuff is because it fuels you to be better. It fuels you to, it fuels you to be more talented, to get more things done. I love my, my, some of my favorite source of content to consume is sort of the, the entrepreneur, the motivational, the inspiring type of stuff. And after a while of kind of seeing all the memes and all the, and all the the posts that people do that kind of suggest like how they get it done and, and how they maximize their time. Once again, I discussed this in my first video. It's like a, it's a, it's a happy medium between working really, really hard and doing the grind, but also taking time to rest. But the phone restriction thing is like almost a sleeper hit it's like a sleeper way to maximize your time because you're not staring down at your device. You're more present. Think about it. If you're, if you have a dinner at eight o'clock PM, you're less likely to open up your phone to maybe just, uh, let me just check real quick. If, if, if there's a post or let me just check the news real fast or like a tweet or whatever, while my friends, you know, whatever up going to the bathroom, I would hope that you're engaging with someone, you know, when that you're at dinner with, but you're just more likely to be present. You're more likely to get more things done. You're more likely to be more creative. If you do like posting on social media and that's one of your passions and because this stretches to so many different professions because I don't care what field you, you're in, most fields are using social media so that is part of a lot of people's jobs. You will focus your time more on getting what you need to get done in that time frame because it will force you, the restrictions will actually force you to Get the stuff done that you need to get done so that you have much more time to do stuff that you're passionate about, stuff that you're trying to get better at. 
Maybe it's that second job. Maybe it's that side hustle that you need to invest more time in. You will have more time to do that. Believe me. Do not let social media be a distraction. Do not let the internet be a distraction. I would say there are a lot of great things that you can watch and that you can listen to in terms of podcasts or, you know, ways to get educated so that it's not, you're not just watching nothing and your mind is being numbed and you're just kind of vegging out watching YouTube. Although we all do it sometimes and that's okay. But maximize the time that you've allotted yourself if you're going to consume social media too. Check what's going on. Check check who posted for the day. You don't have to check it 10 times a day to, to see the last, you know, latest thing that's been posted. Check the timeline a few times. Focus on creating something. Share what's going on if that's your cup of tea, if you like to share what you're doing on social media. But limit your screen time. And it's not just social media, guys. It's other distractions. It's other random apps that you would never know. Like for me, Zillow, the real estate app, because I love real estate, is has been my most used app because I am not going to Instagram and not going to Twitter and YouTube. So like I have now gone to Zillow and now I want to limit my allotted time on Zillow because that is now what's taking up my time. And although it's not a harmful thing of me looking at properties and houses and stuff that I, and cause, cause real estate is a passion of mine. I love looking at, you know, the available market and stuff like that in different places, but it's all about the time. You know, what am I going to get out of knowing what's going on on that particular app? This literally has to do with every app that is a distraction. Like, we all don't need to be on there as long as we're on there. That, that's just that's just the reality of it. So, guys, I hope that you found this a little bit empowering and not me scolding you. I try to do this in a way, but I am on your side. I'm in your corner. I want you to be more creative. I want you to get more stuff done. I want you to follow your passions and get better at what you're doing. Um... I want to be a better musician. I want to be a better better actor. So I am going to use the time that I feel like I'm saving from being on the phone and developing my talents. Because like I said before, we don't need to see the app every every hour. Like you can see it every few hours and still get fed the same way and your endorphins will still get released. But it's become a compulsion, I feel like, for all of us, you know, who are who have the devices. It has become like like breathing. Like, it's just like, it's a thing we do. We flip the phone on, you know, it's like when you sit in the car, what's the first thing you do? You put your seatbelt on and that's great. And that's, that's a compulsion. That's that, that's good. It's good to have, but the phone stuff, we can definitely limit more. We can definitely value our time and do more really cool things to enhance our life and to get better and to advance ourselves, um, in life and society. Um, so Guys, this all comes back to all things in moderation. And Proverbs 23, 2 to 3 says, If you are the type who eats too much too fast, do whatever is necessary to curb your enthusiasm for food. I realize that this is a a food verse, but we can certainly relate this to anything. It's It's about using all things in moderation. Too much of one thing is not good. Too much during the day of you working on your work and stressing about it and working, you know, a 15, 16 hour day is not healthy. Like sure you're working, you're getting stuff done. Maybe your side hustle is taking up all your time and it's overpowering your main job and you're, and you're not performing as much in your main job. And that's not a good thing. So it's all about moderation guys and using time wisely and time management and all that stuff. So I want to really say thank you so much to Heidi for suggesting this topic because I feel like it's definitely something that we are all struggling with right now in 2019 in the age of smartphones and devices. So I just wanted to shed a little bit of light on that and let you guys know that it is a struggle of mine too. It it happens to everybody, but from my experience with restricting my time, with spending less time on the device, I'm telling you it's only been about a week and a half, but I can already feel the difference. I can already feel myself being more creative, um, practicing things I want to get better at and just able to get more tasks done during the day because my time is a lot more managed and it's less on my device because it simply won't allow me. So the challenge is guys, if you really want to make this change, if you want to make something happen, find an accountability partner, find a family member or a friend to do this with and literally set up screen time restrictions and put a passcode that literally only they know 
so you guys can challenge each other to just be better, to be more creative, to not spend so much time on the phone. And that way, when you guys are hanging out together or, or hanging out as a family, it's not like a family dinner where everybody's just on the phone. Everyone's more present. It's going to be better off all around in every area. I guarantee you. Give it a try. And I hope you guys like this discussion. Once again, I don't, I don't want to feel like I'm your dad and saying, get off your phone. Um, I simply want uh, the best for everybody. And I'm one of these people too. I am preaching to the choir and mostly everything I'm saying, guys, because I can only relate because this is happening in my own life. And I found a lot of benefits to it. So I think you guys will benefit as well. Thank you guys so much for listening. And thank you guys so much for the amazing feedback you guys are giving me, like just in the comments, I'm just feeling so like enthusiastic about doing more of these ever since I did the first one. Like people are just being so kind and wanting me to do more and to cover more topics. And this is really fun for me to do. It, it feels pretty natural for me to sit down and do. So once again, guys, please make suggestions in the comments. If you want me to tackle another subject, this was a really good one. And uh, I'm looking forward to, to reading your comments. And uh, guys, if you think that, you know, one of these chats I do is going to benefit somebody that you know. I encourage you to share it to them. Text them the link. Um, show them my channel um, because I just want to keep empowering people, man. I want to keep sharing my journey and and stuff that I do because this is, a, this is a long life and we're all kind of figuring things out. And uh, something like spending less time on your phone, I really feel like would be beneficial for everybody across the board. Um, so that's all guys. Give this video a like. If you're not subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my channel and, uh, Twitter and Instagram are just at Cody. Kept it real simple for you guys. So, uh, until the next one guys, see you next time.